Hey guys, welcome back to Slowbrook Studios. Okay, so today I have my last um, Lego set from my old, from my massive haul that I did about a week ago now. I filmed that video, oh, and I've just been so busy. I haven't been able to finish building all of the Lego sets, so let's get to it. This is set 411. It's ages 6 and up, and it has a total of 29 pieces. Now, this is a Lego Studios poly bag that actually was a promotional poly bag if you bought a cereal. So, yeah, Lego and cereal teaming up. It was like a cereal prize. So, now this goes for $9 on eBay, so it's relatively um, a cheaper set to get, and they're very easy to find. You can get them on, there's a bunch of listings on Bricklink, eBay, and other places like that. So, it's easy to find the set if you like what you see here. Turning around on the back, oh, it also has the studio logo up in the front. Turning around on the back, it, it's not like we see a normal poly bag these days. There's no Lego, um, Le Legoland free, um, like, card back there, which is kind of standard for this other set. It has an item number and a barcode, which is same, and then it says, join the fun, www.lego.com, which is not on poly bags today. So I'm going to open this right now, build it, and get back to you. And that concludes the studio build. Everything that comes in the box is here, there, and these two extra parts too. Skeleton arm, as well as a one by one circle. Wait, peace. Now the thing about this set is it actually doesn't come with instructions. This is your instructions bag. This is the, the entire instructions that you get. There's nothing in this besides this parts and then there is this like little promotional material which maybe I'll do a video on it in the future but that's not in this video because we're looking at the set so let's start out with some interesting pieces this is mainly a figure pack like our um like the starter sets we get right now oh well, and it has very little pieces 29 pieces most of those pieces actually go into the three figures you get here and the skeleton so we're going to just you know start out with um, one of my favorite pieces in this set, and that's the camera. Now this camera is a very small build, build, and if you remove that, that's the actual camera piece, minus those two white things. So look from that side, that's the actual camera that you get. And then you put these two on, put that one by one black stud on it, got your camera. Now this boom pool pole that you get in the set it's very nice. It's a long pole with like it's supposed to be like their windscreen microphone on the front of it. And then you get your pirate who just has a shovel. Not much there. I have some accessories here. A glass and a megaphone there which is in gray and it's an older gray so that's fun to get. And we'll go into the skeleton in a second. You also get a pickaxe in the set which is nice just to, you know, to give it some extra set stuff to do. And they get this entire chest, which the chest opens to reveal LEGO coins. And if you are unfamiliar with LEGO coins, they say LEGO on one side, as you can see there. It says LEGO on one side. The other side, it has a amount on it. That one was 30. One of these is 10. And there's a 20 and a 40 in there. Let's now take a look at the figures. Starting out with your Steven Spielberg minifigure. We already got this guy in our last studio set that I reviewed and you can see it's the exact same minifigure as before has the same torso as well as the same back director's thing. Now we didn't get this guy in the last one which is the cameraman figure. So he's very interesting. Very nice torso printing. Got like that um, necklace type thing. What are those called? I'm slipping it. Tell me in the comments down below. But he has one of those. He has a camera piece a pen and then he has a nice facial print so we can remove that which is really nice I want to get a couple of these faces because that would be nice to use in the city on the back it has the same slate just as cameraman now you also get in the set your actor who in this case is a pirate he has an orange beard which is very nice that's actually very very bright heat and it's not just like camera tricks that's very bright in general you have a normal minifig hand, and then the hook, which is nice, which it can actually go on to normal Lego pieces. So then you can use the pickaxe with him, and you can play with that. Then on the bottom, you have the normal leg, and then the 
pirate leg. He has a nice pirate hat with nothing in it though. On the back, nothing. And then, which is most interesting to me in this set, is you get a skeleton. And it's not the figure that's interesting to me. He, it's a normal skeleton, but it's these arms. They don't have, like, you can't let it stay up there. Ooh. It just kind of falls around, flips around. And and it's done but on that by, like, a joint, a ball joint. And you just kind of slip your arm pieces in there, and it just slips around. See, I got it to stay there. Well, also, bad job on the skeleton. Okay, before we get into the goods and the bads of the set, let's take a look at that skeleton versus some of the newer skeletons that we've gotten. Skeleton Barbosa from Pirates of the Caribbean and Skeleton from Ninjago. Oh. Now these guys have some different stuff on their legs, some studs on their legs that you cannot remove, but that just allows it. I actually like the, his guy's legs better, but these guys' arms are identical to Lego Minifig arms, except that you cannot rotate their hands, but they can move up and down. So. Maybe if they did with these arms on that guy, it might have been better, but overall, I'm not complaining. Now onto the goods and the bads of the set. Since this is since this is such a small set, and there's really nothing besides figures in it, there's really not much goods or bads, but I do appreciate for the goods in the set is that you have enough stuff in here to make like your own movie like you don't need to get like more studio sets like you have the camera guy boom guy and and you can make those actors so you have like unlimited stuff for this to make you know like set up some movie stuff so if you have a small diorama of just this set it's good and, and I think the only bad in the set is this guy here due to those wiggly arms oh that is just so fun to do but that's this entire set. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye for now.